how to create a real estate website using Wix. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own real estate website using Wix. So having said that, let's just jump into it. So this is the platform right here, Wix.com. And as you can see, it's a pretty amazing website builder tool out there and you can create an amazing website for absolutely free. So all you have to do is just simply click on get started over here or just click on sign in if you already have an account. But if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and quickly log in using Wix. And over here, all you have to do is just simply create an account and over here just simply enter in your email address your password and your password again and just sign up or you can go or you can go ahead and sign up with google or facebook either way is fine it all depends upon you now if you already have an account you can quickly sign in and get to it now now i'm gonna go ahead and log in because i already have an account and i'll catch you guys in a little bit and once you have logged in this is going to be your dashboard over here you can go ahead and quickly create a website but if you've created your account for the first time, you will be greeted by another, by a bunch of different questions that you can answer. And then after that, you can go ahead and start building your website. So for me, I'm just going to click on create a new website. And for you, it's going to look like this for when you sign in for the first time. I'm going to ask a bunch of different questions and you can go ahead and answer them what type of website you want. Basically, let's the Wix website or Wix, uh, you know, artificial intelligence engine determine which website is best for you. You can go ahead and skip these questions if you want or you can answer them. It all depends upon you. So I'm going to go ahead and skip these questions because I already know what type of website I'm going to build. And over here, they basically ask you a couple of, uh, you know, tools that you can add to on your website, like a chat feature or an online store or booking or event. Since we're creating a, you know, an online real estate website, then we need to have a booking and we need to have chats, right? So we're going to go ahead and add that. And we also need to have forms over there as well, because it is forms if you you know you like a house or you want to book that house then you want to have a forms where you can add a booking over there as well so we have that bookings we're also going to need like a form to start discussions and build a community and stuff like that but it all depends upon you if you don't want to you can go ahead and add these later on as well so for now i'm just going to stick with chat i'm going to actually going to remove chat and i'm just simply going to use booking and once that's done i'm just simply going to click on next and over here you have two options you can either let wix adi create a website for you or you can go ahead and create your own website with the editor now what is adi it's basically the artificial intelligence engine that i talked about before and what it'll do is basically ask you a bunch of questions and once you've answered that, those questions it'll automatically generate a website for you it's going to be really simple it's going to be plain nothing too fancy but if you you know want to create create a website right off the bat and just get into business then you can go ahead and do that but i would recommend using a template because then you will have a lot of different options to edit your website and to make it look very very good so i'm going to go ahead and click on edit a template and over here as you can see these are all the templates over here now you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want to but since we are looking for a real estate template we're going to go ahead and search for a real estate template or you can go ahead and create a blank template and build a website from the scratch but that would take quite a lot of time what i would recommend is using a template and then edit that template to your needs so let's go ahead and search for real estate over here we have real estate real estate agency consulting agency real estate developer or whatever so we'll just simply click on real estate and we have these amazing templates over here so choose whichever template you are most comfortable with and you can go ahead and start editing a website that you like so this is the first page right here we have a bunch of different pages to go to let's go ahead and enter into the second page over here and what i would and i think that i'm going to go back to the first page because I like these templates much, much more. And over here, I really like this one as well because and uh, because it's really simple and really, you know, easy to use. So what we can do next is we can, once we found a template that we like, we just simply click on view and it'll let us take a look at the template itself. Okay, so over here, this is the website. And over here, as you can see, we have a house in the background and we have a nice little, you know, information over here. And then down below, we have a bunch of different photographs of the houses and, you know, one living room, two bedrooms and two bathrooms and stuff like that. And then down below, we have a contact form as well. So this is really all very nice, but it's just for one house. What we can do next is we can go ahead and choose whichever some other template as well but i think this would look good so what we're going to do is we're going to click on edit because i think that this is a really nice template where we can go ahead and edit it out wait a couple of seconds for the editor to load up and once it's loaded up you can go ahead and start building your own website okay so now the website has been loaded up you know the editor is here as you can see it looks pretty nice and it's really simple as well and we can go ahead and start editing it out 
so over here we at the top we have the name and i think we should make it a little bit more prominent so you can go ahead and change that as well and this is for a single you know cottage so we can go ahead and change that out as well so for example if you have a bunch of different houses then what we can do is we can add a bunch of different houses over here so that people can look at what they want so i think what we can do next is we can go ahead and remove this page or we can go ahead and click on manage media and we have all these bunch of different images so what we can do is we can delete all of these you know let's go ahead and select all of them and we can delete all of them and now we can go ahead and add media so if you already have images of your house then you can go ahead and add them as well but but if you don't have them but if you don't have them you can use one from the uh, you know media from ricks but i assume that since you are creating a real estate uh, you know website you already have the images of the houses so let's just assume that this is my media and over here we can find all of the images of the houses and let's go ahead and search for like houses so we have a bunch of different options over here so we can go ahead and add them as well so i think this would look good um and this would look good as as well and we need a bunch of different actually mansions as well like i think these are all okay but these are like you know more stock footages so let's go ahead and search for mansions and over here we have these options as well so what we can do is we can go ahead and click choose these houses and start adding them over into our you know website let's just assume that these are all the houses that are being offered onto our real estate website and we can go ahead and add them over here okay this was already over here so yeah i think this looks good so we'll just go ahead and click on add to gallery okay so we have 16 different houses that we are trying to sell so we'll go ahead and click on done and over here as you can see we have a bunch of different options so next thing what we can do is we can go down below people can scroll whichever one they want and what we can do is we can click on manage media and we can add a bunch of different options as well so for this one if we click on this one we'll have we can add a link to where people can visit the actual page of the exact house and we can add a description like it has let's just say four bedrooms and and two bathrooms actually two bathrooms are too little so we'll just go with four bathrooms or five actually no wait six and we'll just say like a dining room and a bunch of different other stuff as well like a gym pool and stuff like that and we can go ahead and add a link to whatever we want and once we've done that if we anyone you know clicks on that image over here i think it was which image was it? i think it was this one if they click on this image they'll get all of the you know description of it as well and then down below we have these information area but this is for just single house so we can go ahead and remove that one as well and then we can add in more info over here so it all depends on you and you can even you know change some of these things up as well whatever you want to do you can go ahead and quickly change them up so for example if i wanted to change the background we can click on change background strip and over here we can add a bunch of different images as well so or or we can add a video so if we come over here into the video section we click over here and click on mansions we search for mansions but i assume that you already have you know a but i already assumed that you already have like a video of the area so we can go ahead and add a footage of the houses or the area or how it's built you know whatever you, you feel most comfortable with but let's just assume that this is the video we want and or we this is the video we want we just simply click on change background and now the this video will be playing over here in the background section we let's go ahead and make some of these you know darker as well so we come over here or you know we click on animation or get text ideas we can go ahead and add them as well but if we come over here we can add like effects to them we can add like characters and vertical and seo accessibility all anything we want we can even change the uh, color of the text as well let's go with something a little bit darker and this one as well make this one as darker as well this one as well change it to black and then down below we can change this idea too as well like it all depends on you however you feel like editing your website you can add like names you can add like pictures you can add a gallery over here as well like a little um like a little you know 
showcase or stuff like that and over here on the left side you have a bunch of different options if you click on add to site you can add images buttons gallery decoratives interactives as well you have like boxes lists and music and all these things that you can go ahead and add them you have site design you have like menus and pages you have you have bookings as well like it all depends on you and as i said before you can go ahead and add a bookings tool and i have that bookings tool added over here at the bottom whenever someone enters their name phone or email address or messages and stuff like that when they click on submit you will get a notification onto your email address or your website that someone has made a booking or a reservation and then people can come over and check it out so as i said before it all it's really simple it's really easy to use you know choose a template edit the template to your liking change it a little bit change the text change add in some more images of your own and there you go boom you're done after that just simply click on publish you know click on publish to publish your website and once it's you know published you can go ahead and view it now since you don't have a domain or anything you can go use this domain as you can see over here you will have your name of your website and dot wix.com slash my site what that looks unprofessional so what you can do is you can connect your own domain or buy a domain wix provides that as well and you can start you know buying it as well so if you're wondering how much it costs for a domain over here i'll show you so over here as you can see this is the website plans and then we have the business and e-commerce plan but for now we'll check out the website plans over here we have the connect domain this is the cheapest one we have four dollars per month and it gives you a free domain and stuff like that and you know custom domain it doesn't provide your free domain for one year removes wix ad it doesn't remove wix ads and free ssl certified brand with speed over here and we have storage space over here as well now what is wix ads basically when you are editing a website you know or anything like that you will have like a wix logo over here at the top or at the bottom that will indicate that this website is made on wix but if you don't like that what you can do is you can select the other four as well like the eight dollar per month or the twelve dollar per month that will remove the ads and give you a lot of different options as well what i would recommend is using the combo one it removes all of the ads it gives you a good brand width and storage speed and video hours as well and 24 7 support as well so it all depends on you and it's really not that expensive as well for example the unlimited one is 12 dollars per month and the vip is 24 dollars per month and they give you a bunch of different options so it all depends upon you whichever plan you choose it it's really good so having said that these were all the things that you needed to know about wix and how you can create your way on you know a real estate website using templates so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye